Okay, so here's a variable on the uh, religious background of the parent. This was one of the questions that was asked of each student's parents. And you can see here it's a nominal variable. There are 12 different categories of religions here. Um, and we really can only use this meaningfully in a correlation or regression or several other statistical tests if we can condense it into two categories. And there's a couple ways we could do that. We could pick two categories we were interested in, say Catholic and Hindu, and then we could just remove all the other uh, students from the database, at least for this for this analysis that we wanted to conduct. Uh, that, that would be one way to do it. Another way, which is what I'm going to show you here, is called recoding. So even though there are 12 groups listed here, I'm going to think of a way to categorize them into two groups. And again, there's lots of ways we could do this. This could be as simple as Jewish and non-Jewish, or it could be something like Eastern, religions and Western religions. I'm not quite sure where a couple of these would fall. So you want to choose something that's pretty pretty clear. Um, what I'm going to do just for illustrative purposes is Christian and non-Christian. So these first six categories here are all types of Christians. Um, I guess that was up for some debate in, in earlier years, but I, I think that's fairly well accepted now that these six are considered forms of Christianity. Now it's possible that some of this agnostic category might also loosely be considered Christian, um, but because this is such a small percent and that includes these other two categories, I think we're going to stay fairly uh, reliable here if we say that numbers one through six uh, are going to be Christian and 7 through 12 are uh, non-Christian religion. So to do that I'm going to go to SPSS and I'm going to go to a, a new place here. Uh, we're going to go to transform and we're going to recode into different variables. So I'm going to grab that variable of parents religion and I'm going to create a new variable and this is uh, I'm going to call it Christian and well, let's call it this here too. So a, a one is going to be Christian, a zero is going to be non-Christian. Uh, and what I'm going to do here, these are the old values. So these are the values back on that co code book that we were looking at. And so range one through six would get the new value. So these were the ones that were in a Christian religion. So I'm going to call that a one. That's pretty typical. Uh, if you name the variable something that a one would be a, a student or a participant that has that quality or that variable and a zero would be someone uh, who would not be considered in that in that group. So I'm going to add that and then I'm going to take uh, range seven through 12 and give that a value of 0. Now this just happened to break into six numbers here and six numbers here. That's completely unnecessary. You could have just the number 3 in this one category and all the other numbers in, in the second category. The important part is that you redo it into two categories. Uh, there is a very sophisticated way to, to do that otherwise called dummy coding where we would now break it into 11 different variables, uh, but that's well beyond what we want to do here. We just want to create a new variable that has only two values. Uh, so I've, I've set that up. I've created um, this right here, and let's see, I think we have everything else. Click on change. That will give us the, the new name of our new variable and OK. Uh, and if we slide all the way over here, we have a Christian variable. Uh, notice that we have a lot here that aren't. This is because these are the ones that were missing data in the first place. If we scroll down, we see we see plenty of ones and also some zeros. Uh, if we go to 
uh, not where I wanted to go. If we go to frequencies, uh, we could go down here and check this Christian religion. Um, and what we would see here is that 88% of, this was in 2002, of the students in, in the U.S. Uh, had parents who associated themselves with a Christian religion, and 12% had parents uh, who chose some other association or perhaps no, no religion. So this variable now could be used meaningfully in a, in a correlation or a regression. It's still a nominal variable, um, but at least the output could be interpreted in a meaningful way now.